The newest chapter for Guild Wars 2, The Living Story, Season 3, that is a mouthful, has arrived. Rising Flames. Now, I may love Guild Wars 2 for various reasons, five to be exact, but the story is not something I've really followed. I've started to go back through my character's storyline, but I haven't gotten too far into it. The beckoning call of exploration keeps luring me away. Or something like that. So I'm not really sure what the hell is happening here. Like any of this. No clue. So I'm gonna explain it the best I can. There's gonna be spoilers, just an FYI. All right. Let's begin. Me and my trusted pet, Bill Murphy, editor of MMORPG.com, visit the lab of a crazed scientist known only as Timey, who decides to test a previously unstable and non-working training program on me and this giant puppy. She also clearly has deep-seated issues regarding her short stature. Oh, and that puppy is Ritlock. He's not very important. It was a joke, please don't kill me. So now that we were trained and ready, it was time for me and Dino Murphy to take the Stargate to Ember Bay, the new zone introduced for Rising Flames. Which is fabulous. Are you tired of living in all that snow, rain, and all that freezing zero to 90 degree weather? Then join us here in Ember Bay. It's like living in a sauna. Except better. Visit the ancient Spewing Head Island, where streams of lava flow at a comfortable 2,000 degrees. Relax on the pristine brown dirt beaches of Hot Cocoa Beach. Just make sure to watch out for demon crabs. Of varying sizes. Bring friends. But if relaxing is not your thing, take part in one of the many events in Ember Bay, such as our ongoing carnival. It's a thing that exists, and hopefully we'll someday have something for you to do. Instead of a carnival, maybe you like to live on the wild side. Perhaps you'd like to do some extreme sports, like kayaking down the flaming river rapids, or swim with the worms of death. Trust me, it's much more horrible than the name implies. Frolic with the indigenous wildlife of Ember Bay. What the f is that? Rock climb the green bluffs of greenery with the only surviving plants in Ember Bay. And here you can try one of Ember Bay's famous Ember Apples. Ah! 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 Mm. And when it's time to check in for the night, you will enjoy deluxe accommodations complete with roof and massive rat infestation. Careful, they're pushy bastards. So come visit Ember Bay. It's seriously amazing. What the f***? That place looks awful. Back to the story. So after running around this f***ing hellscape, because these little bastards had me running around collecting random ball things, my character then tripped on said balls. Likely due to heat stroke. Then Murphy and I were off to my next destination, where I talked to a floaty guy made of light who sent me into this giant cavern by myself because of some bullshit that no one else can go in except me. Lazy bastards. And then I got to watch a dragon be hatched from some freaky Fabergé egg. What the hell are humans not hatched from eggs in a fantastical light show? Thanks a lot, God. Also, that thing is horrifying. Big eyes don't equal cute. That thing is a terrifying abomination. Also, apparently this dragon being spawned is a big deal. I kill like 20 of these things every day in this game. And that's it. All in all, Ember Bay was a major freaking update that most Guild Wars 2 fans are enjoying. There's new dailies, a new PvP map, a new legendary weapon, which is kind of a big deal, the ability to travel by lava cannon, apparently, new armor and weapon skins, new enemies, and most of all, Ember Bay. I couldn't think of another fire pun, so insert your own here. Yeah, that's right. Do my job for me. Make sure to level up your MMO knowledge by visiting MMORPG.com, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and by following us on social media. To catch up on the week's biggest MMO news, watch our latest MMO FTW. And to see if there's a better MMO out there for you, watch one of our latest First Impressions videos. Thanks for watching.